Um, I've been around a lot of rappers and legal drama, and this is the best one I've ever seen when you understand it. So first, this isn't a lawsuit. It's a petition where Drake is asking the court to require Universal Music Group to give him evidence that he needs to bring a RICO lawsuit and a lawsuit alleging illegal business practices. What he says is, I don't know who the other people were involved with Universal, but under the law, Universal has to tell me who they are so I can sue them for the following. Civil RICO, deceptive business practices. What these people did is they used illegal bots to make it seem like Not Like Us was a lot more popular than it actually was. They cite to an academics interview where academics is on stream talking to some dude and the dude says, I got paid $5,000 and promised a percent of Not Like Us in exchange for delivering 30 million fake bot streams when Not Like Us first launched so that it would seem more popular than it was and the algorithms would bump it up everywhere. What's really interesting about Drake's claim is that if you watch the academics interview, academics questions the veracity, the truth of this guy saying, hey bro, are you sure? Like somebody promised you points for bot streams? There's producers and engineers and people who feature on songs who don't get a percent of the song. And somebody promised you, academics questioned this guy's story. Anyway, Drake's lawyers saw it fit for a filing in a New York state court. And they say, look, this is some evidence of the bots. Then they say that Universal typically takes a cut in order for somebody like Spotify to put a Universal song on Spotify. And that in this case, Universal wanted Not Like Us to be more popular. And so they agreed to take a lower cut and they gave it to Spotify on the low, low, cheaper. They paid radio for plays that, hey, Universal Music Group, in order to make Not Like Us artificially popular, paid people in radio. Apparently, they claim that all of this is illegal and that it caused damage to Drake by reducing his popularity, getting him less streams. They argue that streaming is a zero sum game. Every time Not Like Us got streamed, it resulted in Drake not getting a stream because you necessarily can't get a stream if everybody's listening to something else on that day. And they have all these other wild allegations in there, including this idea that Universal is firing people who have loyalty to Drake and preferring people who have loyalty to Kendrick. They also claim that Universal told Drake that, hey, this is not, none of this is our problem. Your problems are with Mr. Lamar. You should sue, Kendrick Lamar's last name, by the way, is Duckworth. They say your problems are, Mr. are with Mr. Duckworth. You should sue Mr. Duckworth. And if you sue Mr. Duckworth, maybe we'll jump in there with you. Because <laughs> what I think is happening here, first off, my mind is spinning because I can't imagine that you're relying on a source that academics questioned and that, <laughs> but here's what I think is happening. I think you might have a situation where Drake realizes that not like us and everything around that song and this battle has forever tarnished his earning ability and his ability to make that money. This is what I think. Is, is so significantly reduced that he's got to do everything he possibly can to get it back. Even if that means filing these claims where you're out here. I, I would never file a claim like this if I were him, unless I guess there was that much money on the line. Because from a PR perspective, my gosh, what do we think, people? Does this, does this play well or does this play poorly for the boy?